Hey guys, I'm Dieter Melhorn. I'm gonna give you a quick product review of a hunting boot that I've been wearing now. This will be my third season of wearing it. It's from Cabela's. Uh, it's called the uh, Speed Hunter, six inch version. And uh, I've put it through the paces, both deer hunting and turkey hunting. And uh, as you can see in some of the video, it's got some wear and tear on it. It's got some miles on it. Uh, but the fact that I'm into my third year wearing it should be a good indicator of how it's held up. Now, if you're new to my video channel, all of the gear that I use, especially the fishing gear, is on my website, DieterMelhornFishing.com. Uh, any of the products that I talk about that I review, I will put a link to them. Usually they're Amazon affiliate links uh, in the gear section on my website. If not, there'll be a link on where you can find the stuff, so go check that out. Well, I'm not normally a person that keeps the box and the receipt on everything, unless it's worth a lot of money and it's got a good warranty on it. And this came with a uh, lifetime warranty. Uh, the lady that sold me the boots said any Cabela's brand product, uh, they guarantee for life. And I decided to buy their brand instead of some of the other popular brands out there. And uh, decided to keep the receipt on it. I put it away in my building in the box and uh, still got the box of this day. And uh, so far, I haven't needed to cash anything in. The boots are Gore-Tex. Uh, they have a Gore-Tex liner. The reason I bought these was I had another pair of boots. It was some Merrells and uh, they started leaking. Uh, they were Gore-Tex. And uh, now in all fairness to Merrell, I sent the boots back to Merrell and they replaced them with a brand new pair. The new pair was not Gore-Tex, but it was their own brand of whatever they call their own waterproof liner that they've got in them. Uh, but I had bought these boots as a pair of hunting boots. Uh, was skeptical about the lacing on them, the speed lace. Uh, another reason I kept my receipt uh, in case that broke. I didn't know how that was going to work. Wasn't a big fan of it until I started wearing them and until I started getting in the stand and on a hot day decided to loosen my boots up. Uh, it was very nice uh, a couple of times when I was flying and traveling and had to take my shoes off going through security. Very easy to take them off and put them back on. As many of you know, if you got boots, lacing them up it's not the biggest problem in the world, but it's just a few more minutes out of your day that are gone. So all of that stuff has held up amazingly well. So they've stayed waterproof. The laces work. The only thing that has been the least little bit of an issue has been the toe on them, where the rubber sole rolls around the end of the toe. It had broken loose. Uh, it did that about a year and a half, maybe a year and two months into it. Uh, just as I went, I uh, got through turkey season. And uh, I had a choice. I could take them back and get a brand new pair and break them in. And by this point, I'll be honest with you, the boots fit way better and were way more comfortable than I ever thought they would be. I was skeptical of their brand. I'm going to be honest with you about that. Um, but I had a choice. It was either send them back, get another pair, have to break them in, or repair them. And I repaired them. I took some shoe goo and... Uh, uh, basically cleaned out the toe real good and uh, just used the shoe goo, put it in there, put some electrical tape across the tip of it to hold it in place and it held up for another year and a half and I just did it again. One of the toes had popped loose and, uh, and I will say this in all fairness, the toes stayed together fine under normal use. It was once I started getting out in cutovers that we have in the Carolinas and stomping through that stuff that I busted one of them loose again. Reese just chew good it, it's back together, and uh, I'm gonna keep wearing them. Uh, they're good boots. I do not know if they even make this model anymore. I was in a Cabela's recently, didn't see the exact same thing, but you know how it is with these brands and these shoes. A lot of this stuff gets rotated in and out and different names and everything else. Uh, so I just want to give you a little heads up on the Cabela's brand themselves. I give it a thumbs up. I mean, they, they've done really well. The Speed Laces, surprisingly, have not busted up. Like I said, I wore these things through three turkey seasons, two deer seasons now. Now these boots are not insulated. Uh, they've got some padding in them, which is kind of warm. I wear them as a more summer weight boot. Uh, summer, fall, uh, I wear them down into the 40s without a problem. And uh, you know, very comfortable boot. You can wear them all day long. In the end, when I buy them again, I gotta say, yeah, I would buy these boots again. Uh, as a matter of fact, that's part of the reason I was looking for them in the store. I'm notorious for when I find a shoe that I like, if I can find a couple pairs of them, 
I will buy them and put them into a rubber tote and store them out in my building so that I've got them for the future down the road. How long will they last? I don't know. How long do boots last nowadays? I don't really know. Uh, my brother, uh, a little older than me, has got a pair of Herman Survivors I think he's had for 30 years. They've busted apart, come apart, stuff's cracked in them and he keeps patching them together and, and, and cobbling them together to make them work. So who knows how long these will work, but I can tell you right now, three seasons in, I'd buy them again. Well folks, hopefully that gives you some good information on this product. Uh, this was not a paid endorsement, by the way. Uh, Cabela did not give me these boots. I paid for them and uh, no way are they sponsoring this video. It's just my honest opinion, my honest take on it. And uh, hopefully it gives you some good information in case you decide to get some in the future. Well folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And here are a couple of more videos that I think you're gonna like.